Hey everybody, it's Michael Waddell with another edition of Outdoor Bites. Sitting here with Mr. Joe with Guns and Ammo TV. Yeah. Man, it's, it's a pleasure to finally meet you, man. I feel like I know you. Yeah, well, we've been crossing paths for a few years now. But, no doubt. Uh, but good to sit down and actually chat, you know? You know, the cool thing is about what we're doing with this Outdoor Bites is so many people watch the shows. Yeah. Obviously, Guns and Ammo TV, y'all do a phenomenal job of of basically showing all, you know, I mean, Lord, the stories y'all able to come out with, and mm -hmm. when you look at, you know, guns and ammo, yep. I don't think it's ever been as more popular as today. No, I mean, we definitely have seen just such a huge surge, uh, you know, the conditions, environmental, financial, uh, political, all the things have really pushed a lot of people that were maybe on the fence or even leaning away yeah. from kind of an armed and aware lifestyle yes. have definitely you know, leaned in a bit to taking their self-protection into their own hands. And it's been great to be working, you know, with really one of the leaders, one of those resources that they can turn to, to get the information about the the products, you know, in that field, the guns, the ammo, the optics, the gear, uh, training, you know, everything kind of in that ecosystem. Right. And, uh, and bring it to them in a way that that's accessible because it's important to remember, you know, I've been doing this for more than a decade uh, on big brands doing, you know, basically small arms, subject matter expert type stuff, a lot of technical reviews, but you have to remember, just because you've written about it or talked about it for years, you know, we have a new audience every right. single year that may need to start at that one-on-one level. And right. brands like Guns and Ammo, we do a great job of mixing it up, having plenty of that stuff that's accessible, easy to understand, uh, help get people a little bit closer in, but then also applying our expertise, you know, that hard one, generations of expertise that have come through this brand uh, and being able to talk to, uh, you know, people that have been on this path for years and years that want that really specific uh, high-end technical information. We've got that for them too. Y'all yeah, have done a phenomenal job of that because that's easier said than done because, yeah. you know, you've got Marines that's, you know, been in, been, been in campaign for many years that still after they may be retired, they still are into the guns. They're still into yep. the tactical part of that, but they're highly educated on it. But then you got the person who maybe could have been a critic of the lifestyle mm -hmm. that maybe was a gun critic. Maybe, yes. maybe was, you know, I don't know about the second amendment, but they're, they're also secretly getting this magazine because they're into self-defense. They're into like, I better grab a gun because you, you know, you know, the world can get crazy at times. Yeah. And so they don't know anything about it. They don't know the difference in a nine millimeter and a 22 caliber. So you guys have done a masterful job of being able to start at a beginning level, but also, yeah. you know, two articles in or in or a couple segments in. Yeah. You got something for this, you know. No, exactly. I mean, I think it's you have to you have to treat it as if you're, you know, kind of a professor that you're teaching the graduate level, but you're also teaching those freshmen. You know, you yeah. got to you have to invite them in, give them that that basic foundation of information um, in an accessible way, in a way that they can digest and feel part of the community. Because the last thing you want to do this day and age is, is have someone coming to you as an expert, you know, wanting the information and being turned away because you couldn't come down to their level. Yeah. You know, I think, so I always try and remember just because I've been doing this for years. And when you look at our staff and our contributors and all of the experiences and years of service in that group, um, we also have to remember that our core audience, you know, is those experts, but it's also those first time gun buyers. You know, we have exactly. to have something for everybody. For yourself, Joe, what, what got you interested in this space? What led you to, you know, in this case, guns, this outdoor? Yeah, yeah I would say, you know, on the gun side, I have kind of that, uh, you know, typical uh, American boy uh, experience in that I started shooting, you know, with my family and then through the Boy Scouts actually, you know, and I, right. I can remember, you know, the first time I was plinking with a 22 and then uh, up to, you know, working on that rifle marksmanship merit badge and loading my own ammo and learning all these skills, but at a very, you know, basic level, you know, we didn't, growing up, I was, uh, grew up mostly in Northern Virginia and we didn't hunt very much, but we hiked and camped all over. So the outdoor part was definitely part of my growing up. I right. loved being outside but we didn't really have the firearms and Boy Scouts kind of introduced me to that a bit. And then after I graduated from college, I joined the army. And at that point, you know, uh, guns weren't just an interest. I had been reading, you know, things like guns and ammo, American riflemen for years at that point. So I was definitely, um, you know, 
learning about it, enthusiastic about the space, but not an expert, but then time in the army, you know, going through that, you, you learn to handle that kind of stuff. And, you know, spent a few good years uh, doing that and became kind of a subject matter expert on small arms, did some training stuff, uh, started out as a cavalry scout, moved over to special operations. And when the time came to kind of get out of there, I really did kind of fall <laughs> backwards right into this, this industry, which has been my home, you know, for about 12 years now. I started out with uh, American Rifleman, big publication. Right. Um, you know, arguably, I, I've been really blessed to be able to work on really the two biggest, most influential gun magazines yes. uh, in our space, and both of which serve that generalist audience and provide that expertise, you know, from that basic 101 level up to the graduate level technical uh, stuff. And it's been, you know, a lot of fun for me. And the people, it's kind of nice being in a place like this because you know that to some degree you've got something to connect with these people. They love the outdoors, you know. Yeah. They love shooting and hunting. You know, for me, I was, I was one of those late blooming hunters. I said I didn't hunt growing up, but of course, getting into this industry, it's become one of my favorite pastimes. You know, I will, I'll never pass up an elk hunt, you know. I, oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta go every year, I gotta fill the freezer, you know. And, uh, but it's, you always know you're gonna connect to the people out here at, at one degree or another. And I think, you know, you know that for the most part, they share that sense of personal responsibility. You know, they care about our world and our environments. Uh, you know, and they're willing to take their protection into their own hands. And uh, I think that it's a very comfortable place to be. You know, I yes. mean, it's, it's good to be around other people like that, especially in a time when there are a lot of critics out there, mostly uninformed critics. And uh, I think that influences, you know, a little bit of what we do too. We have to be willing to engage, you know, those uninformed critics and hopefully provide them a door to come and join us here. It is amazing. Those are all great points because I, you do see kind of the truth and how even when we talk about the critics so, so you know like you I, you know i kind of grew up around the hunting also I always had rifles and guns yeah. but i didn't know a lot of the technical aspects of what it was and you know literally i was I had a remington 742 woodmaster the yeah. old jam master they called it and yeah. you know that's what we hunted deer with you probably little, didn't know any better know any better it's 30 all six 180 grain bullet and oh i knew this was good enough to shoot a deer yep yeah. I, know, I don't ever remember, you know, shooting off lead bags and trying to really precisely see in what my effective range. Typically, it was a 50 to 100 yard shot, and I could right. usually hit them. But, um, but it is funny because from the hunting side, you know, it was it got very technical and tactical. Um, but the shooting side of it, that's what I love about watching, you know, Outdoor Channel and yeah. you know, Guns and Ammo because I will sit here and learn something because everybody will think, well, oh, Waddell, man, he knows all about these guns, and I don't. Yeah. I mean, I'm always pulling you guys aside like hey man i'm doing this what's the flattest shooting gun is there any new is that 338 lafleur what is that like or yep. what about this blackout i don't i don't even know the caliber what is you know and so it's amazing what we all can learn vice versa where you're you're a rifleman and yep. and, and, and know your stuff on the guns you're probably getting around i, I guess it's the brotherhood it's it, like we all get is. a chance to kind of come together and talk you know the great thing is we're we're kind of a a small tight-knit community you know and uh, but it is interesting to know that within that smaller community there are all these little niches you know yes. there are all these little groups that have their own kind of you know their own kind of pursuits you know you know man you got the you got the turkey hunters you know yep. you got the turkey hunters you got the upland hunters you got so even just within the hunt side all there's all those different you know kind of breeds if you will those people yeah. with the different passions that's right. um and, but then you add in all the you got the archery guys you get into the gun guys and man is it is it handguns rifles shotguns you know a little bit of everything is it that long range pursuit is it uh personal defense tactical style shooting is it uh you know handguns you know competition there's just so many different pursuits and you know one of the great things about working on a brand like guns and ammo and bringing a show like guns and ammo tv to the network is that we can we can touch all of it. You know, yes. we can we can touch the hunting side. We can touch the long range group. We can go back to basics and talk about you know safety and re very basic firearms handling. You know, we can get into optics. We can get into ammunition. We can get into the affiliated gear, and we can take you places that shooters want to go. Right. And we can show them to you. You know, we can set that hook and and show you that 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 passion that you have. There are other people like you, and there are places designed specifically for people like you right. where you can go and have the best time. You can pursue that passion. And, uh, you know, being able to kind of bring a little bit of all that 
uh, you know, to our viewers and our readers. Uh, it's, it's a really rewarding experience for sure. Well, y'all do a fine job. It, it, and really, you're right. When you start looking at it from all the perspectives of what y'all can touch on with guns and yep. ammo, there's so much knowledge and there's so much opportunity. You go down so many different lanes. Yep. And so, uh, I don't know, I've always been a big fan of the magazine and, and it's so cool to be able to see what y'all doing and how that is kind of transferred over into television. Yeah. It's almost like reading the magazine in, re in real time through video and audio and yeah. so, uh, well, hold on, Michael, because we're uh, we're we're fixing to get get uh, even a little bit more up close and personal with the coming stuff. Nice. I, uh, I've been really trying to, you know, push some of our videography, and we have great producers. We have such a great team uh, on the Outdoor Channel and Outdoor Sportsman's Group, and uh, we're really going to start pushing and trying to bring everybody even in a little bit closer. You know, we've all seen for years the very classic. Um, you know, stand up and discuss, experts yeah. discussing uh, products and discussing topics. And that is a very effective communication style that we're not gonna get rid of. But for other things, some of the training events, some of the destination stuff, I wanna bring the viewers with us, right next to us, you know, and bring them in. You know, I, <laughs> man, there are some places now, part of it, maybe it's my military background a little bit, but I, I love getting screamed at on a training line, you know, yeah. going to places like Gunsight and Thunder Ranch and. You know, some of these, uh, you know, destinations that shooters really want to get to, I want to bring the cameras right in with us. Right. You know, I want to bring the viewers right in with us, have them share that experience. And I think it's going to be an even more compelling uh, and, and exciting kind of presentation than talking to those same experts, you know, at stand up. You know, we're still going to get their insights, but you're going to get up close and personal. I think it's going to be great. Right on. Y'all have to be sure to tune in to Guns and Ammo. You won't be bored. Guns and ammo, simple title, but it goes a lot of different directions. I promise you, there's no boredom. And you can hear him, he's, got, he's excited. He's almost like, don't even want to let the cat uh, out of bed. You just gotta watch bit. it on Outdoor Channel, Guns and Ammo, my man Joe. Yeah, thanks Good very much, man. You, yeah, check it out. We certainly hope you enjoyed Outdoor Bites with me, Michael Waddell. Thank y'all for watching.